In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your content pages. So that's not this home page, that's all these up here. So about us, web design, video marketing, etc, etc, all the way along to paid search. News and contact, well contact you don't edit, news is edited elsewhere if you've got that in your package. So let's have a look at the about us page. That's what it looks like as a page, we've got this big image here, we've got a title, a subtitle, and our content. So let's go and edit that. To edit, you'll log on as normal using the username and password we've supplied you, which would normally be your email address and the password. And here we'll go and edit general content on our menu. Okay, you'll see all your pages listed here. We'll go and do this one about us. And there's a number of fields. Many are self-explanatory, but we'll just take you through them briefly. So, title, about us, Peterborn Communications. If we look at the page, we can see that nice and clearly there. Then there's the subtitle. Add an option, subtitle or strapline. Well, we've not, obviously not populated that yet, so we could put something in there with that. But in between the two, you'll see menu title. Now, that's because about us, Peterborn Communications, it's a bit lengthy, it's a bit wordy, isn't it, for the menu here. So we've given you the option to have a short title in the menu, so you can just shorten it to about us or whatever. So that's quite useful. Right, the yellow panel concerns elements for, generally for SEO, for search engine optimization. So meta title, this isn't displayed on the page, but it is really useful for Google to understand what your page is about. It does actually get displayed up here in the tab title, so you can see that saying about us rather than about us Peterborn Communications. So it's good to get a decent meta title in there for search engines. If you leave it blank, don't worry, it will populate the meta title with this title automatically. URL to use. Okay, this is important as well for search engines and for just ease of readability of URLs. If you notice on our page, we're at package.peterborn.co.uk slash about us, with a little dash in between the about and us, a hyphen. Yeah? And that's generated there. Again, you can choose the URL to use. You can put whatever you like about us, Peter born in Ashby, whatever it might be. But do be careful because if other pages are linking to this and you change it after the effect, then after the event, then your links will start to fail. Um, don't worry if you leave that blank because it will automatically generate one based on what you type into the title up here. So again, you don't need to worry, it's automatically filled in. Meta description, used by search engines, it's not uh, displayed on your page, but it is displayed in the search engine results. So you've probably noticed when you do a search and you see the page title displayed and then a little paragraph of text, a couple of sentences maybe, against each result, that is frequently the meta description. So putting a nice inviting sentence or two in there that uh, invites your searcher to, to possibly click your page instead of a competitor's page has got to be good. Meta keywords, don't worry too much about these. Google ignores them completely. Other search engines place a little bit of emphasis on them. But if you've got a few keywords, you know this page is about uh, web design, Ashby, Leicester, then it can't hurt to spend five seconds typing those in. But don't worry too much. As I say, Google ignores them. OK, the image for the top of the page. We see an image has been chosen there. It's very nice. If we wanted to change that, then we just drag a new image in. It knows the image is going to be this aspect ratio, so it knows you can't stretch to anything other than that aspect ratio. So we'd choose a portion of that image, and then we'd press crop and save. I'm not going to because I quite like the image we've already got, but you'd press crop and save there before you submit. We'll just cancel that and we'll revert to our original image. There's the content editing window. I suggest you watch the homepage editing video if you want me to go through all these options, because I've gone through those in that, including adding images into your content and making links. So that's on the homepage editing video. The second section of content, well, at the moment, that displays below the main section. But on the design where it's a vertical menu, and I'll show you that in the over, overview video, uh, the columns appear side by side. So that's why there's two blocks of content. Finally, if you're on the advanced package, you can add images into your gallery. Uh, and the way to do that is just to literally drag and drop them in. Click, add this image. 
and it's going to upload that to the server. It's going to shrink it to the right size that it needs and discard the extra data. So it's nice and fast on mobile phones. And we can drag another one in as well. And there we go. So if we submit this and go back and look at the page, we should see that image gallery below. Again, the image gallery is an option on package two. It's not there on package one, but you can see the image gallery started to appear and we can click those. And we get a nice light box effect to step through them. Okay, that's content editing. Uh, enjoy the rest of the videos. There is a video on how to embed a video into your web page as well, which you might find useful. So check that one out. Thanks.